you're still going to go where your, where your tuck up would be. So you're going to go pretty much in the middle of the dog because you don't want to go above the, um, the rib cage. You don't want to go above the rib cage on a sweetheart trim. You want to go where it's going to be very um, balanced and in the middle of the dog is where your balance is at. So what I do is I figure out where it's going to be, find my rib cage, make sure I'm not beyond that, and then I just kind of take a little bit. You can go bigger as you go. You can always make it a tiny bit bigger if you want. This is a great trim, like when I was competing, when I first started competing way back when, um, I competed with the dog with the sweetheart trim. And she actually looked balanced in it. You know, a lot of people don't think that they can look balanced, but she had a really long neck and she was a little high in the rear. So it made it so that it hid her high rear because I would take it shorter here and left it fuller up here. So when you looked at her with the break in here, it just kind of, it just made her look nice top line and then her, and then she had all this neck. So it just kind of, it just looked really good on her. And then I'm going to go in here. I'm going to try to follow my line. Sometimes you can set it with the scissors if you're a little worried about it. Like some of them I do do that every once in a while, especially if I'm doing like a puppy trim into a, um, show puppy trim into a continental trim. So I'm going to go all the way. Make sure we're matching. Always good to look at from the top. I do my band first before I do my diamond. So I'll always do my band first all the way around. And if you notice, I'm pulling apart the hair, so I'm not catching either side of the, of the hair that's laying there. And I can see where my clippers are going, where my hand, you know, where the line's going, and making sure I have it all even. 